just arrived at the new terminal. It's impressive, really impressive. Look at this. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Abdul. Welcome at New Jeddah. Let's go for a tour. Let's go. This is the chicken area as we walk. Uh, we have like 200 chicken counters and uh, 12 uh, chicken rows, most largest terminal in, in the kingdom and equipped with the cutting edge technology. So Abdullah, I have never heard about this terminal before. Uh, since when this terminal has opened? It was opened in 2018 and uh, it's opening in phases. Like phase one, we're gonna cover uh, 30 million passengers. The shape of the building, it's a two big half moons on the sides and the third one is in the top. So we have three half moons. At New Jid Airport, we have a special entrance for our premium passengers to arrive. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Our first class chicken area, it's a lounge. There is no chicken desk. This area is the Saudi first class check-in area. This is as good as you can get. You get all the sofa and the comfort sitting down to check in. In the first class area, you also have this chaos. You can sit down using your kiosk. But I think somebody else is gonna help you to check in. I don't know if this is gonna be popular for first class passenger self-check-in. You know what I like about at the check-in area? Every single row, there is a Saudi classic airplane. This row, it has Boeing 707. Look at this. DC-9, 707, DC-7, 720. Now Sam, I'm taking you into domestic departure. So we often forget this is also a domestic and international. You have both. Abdallah, I was looking at this sculpture here. It looks like a paper airplane, right? But they all have uh, Arabic written on it. What, what is this about? Uh, it's like an Islamic uh, uh, art that uh, wishing the passengers a uh, safe trip. We have a customer service agents available all around the terminal to help the passenger and assisting them and answering their questions and improving their passenger experience inside the terminal. This is the airport garden area. It has 18,000 square meters. Uh, it's located in the middle of the terminal. It's a beautiful garden. Yeah, and then but passenger cannot go outside, right? Uh, this is just accessible for the it's passenger. not accessible. Yeah. Okay. To the right, we have 46 boarding gates, but 94 aero bridges because some of the gates can support either two small aircraft or one big aircraft. In addition, we have 28 remote stands. So Abdullah, I'm gonna ask you a question, right? As a traveler, we all want to know, there's only a small amount of flight currently using a new terminal. You're moving face by face. So when do we expect other airlines can move into here? Good. Actually, we're expecting to move all the national carriers, uh, including Saudi and other national carriers from South Terminal to Terminal 1 in 2020, Quarter 1. Quarter 1, 2020, yeah. that's coming soon, the next couple of months. So, as they say, Inshallah. Inshallah, right? Inshallah. Inshallah. For that, yeah. Inshallah. The problem with Mega Terminal is a lot of walking. How far is from check-in to the farthest gate? About one mile. One mile. But don't worry, we have a travelators like the one we are using, and we have a buggies available everywhere. I think new airports means you're gonna burn a lot of fat. You from Saudi? Yes, I'm from Saudi. Really? Nice to see ladies working in the lounge. Nice to see you too. New terminal means new lounge. This is the Saudi Alfresan Lounge domestic departure lounge. And you can see they love plum trees, they love dates. 
a palm tree in the middle of the lounge. How are you? Uh, you want to try the Arabic coffee? Oh, thank you very much. Everywhere you get offered by Arabic coffee in Saudi Arabia. So I asked people, they told me this is a date and coffee bar. Well, I have to tell you, this is my favorite area in this lounge. is by the window next to the green, peaceful looking garden. It makes you feel very relaxing, it really is. Are you enjoying the view, Sam? Yes. In this terminal, we are focusing on the five sensory clues. What the passenger see, what the passenger hear, what the passenger taste, what the passenger touch, what the passenger feel. What this counter here at the airport is distributing holy water. It's called Zam Zam water. It's like my name, Sam, but this is Sam Zam. All the people after hatch, yes. they finish, they bring the Zam Zam water back home. Five liter portable pack like this. For two dollars for holy water, very good price. Sam, this is an aquarium. It has one million liter and more than 2,000 type of fish. Wow, founding Mimos here in Jeddah Airport. On the arrival floor, we have soon, we will be having a train taking the passengers to Mecca and Medina. That will really make their journey much easier. So I visited lots of new airport this year, uh, Beijing, Daxing, and Jeddah. They have common similarity because they have a train at the arrival area. So when you arrive, you directly connect to that train to go to your final destination. It's a seamless mobility transportation. Okay, Sam, I hope that you had a great experience in New Jeddah Airport. Our vision is to become the largest top airport in the Middle East and one of the top 10 airports in terms of passenger satisfaction. I'm sure that many passengers are looking forward to that positive experience. Thank you so much today. Thank you. Check myself in on the self-checking kiosk. Runway closed for two, three minutes. So we can drive past the runway down to the end. So nice, so amazing. Personally, I like this lounge better because it's new. It's actually a lot of room here. Welcome on board our Saudi 787-9 Dreamliner. The service hospitality is still wonderful in Middle East Asia. would have think this is a very touristy area just to catch the tourists but here I've seen a few tourists but there are lots of residents still living here in Abha, on the top of the hill there's a 747 I just reached the mountain top <laughs> single female not only from Saudi she's from overseas 